Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract a six digit number and a three digit number and we are going to use the vertical format. So let's have a look at the first question we're going to be working through. What is 548,346 minus 154. 548,346 minus 154. So the first step is to rewrite this question in the vertical format. So let's do this over here. 548,346 minus 154. Okay, we're ready to do the subtraction. Now starting on the right hand side, we have 6 minus 4. Well, 6 minus 4 is 2. Now, moving on to the tens, we've got 4 minus 5. Now, because 4 is less than 5, we cannot do this. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take 1 from the digit on the left, the 3. So let's cross out 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. And the one we have taken from here, we're going to move to the tens. So the tens column now reads 14 minus 5. 14 minus 5, the answer is 9. Okay, moving on to the hundreds, we've got 2 minus 1. Well, 2 minus 1 is 1. That was nice and easy. Now, as for the three other digits, 5, 4, 8, they are subtracting nothing. So they remain the same. So let's write those in. And we have our answer. And it is 548,192. And for that we get a nice tick. And it really is that simple. Just follow the principles through. Okay, we're going to move on to our second example. We've got 827,425 minus 876. Okay, the first step is we're going to write this or rewrite the question in the vertical format. So let's do this over here. We've got 827,425 minus 800 and 76. Okay, so let's do the subtraction. Starting on the right hand side, we have 5 minus 6. 5 minus 6. Now because 5 is smaller than 6, what we have to do is, we have to take 1 from the digit on the left. In this case, it's a 2. So let's cross out 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. And the one we have taken from here, we're going to add to the 5. So the units column now reads 15 minus 6. 15 minus 6, the answer is 9. On to the tens, we have 1 minus 7. 1 minus 7. Now again, 1 is smaller than 7, therefore we're going to take 1 from the digit on the left, which is a 4. So let's cross out the 4. 4 minus 1 is 3, and the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to add to the column on the right. So this now becomes, the tens is now 11 minus 7. 11 minus 7 is 4. Moving on to the hundreds, we've got 3 minus 8. 3 minus 8. Now because 3 is smaller than 8, we have to take 1 from the digit on the left. So we've had to take 1 from each digit on the left every time in this example. So let's cross out 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. And the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to add to the 3. So the hundreds column now reads 13 minus 8. 13 minus 8 is 5. Now as for the 
other digits, because they are subtracting nothing, they remain the same. So we can write those in. We've got 6, 2, 8. And we have reached our answer. It is 826,549. Okay, and we get a nice big tick. So that is how we subtract a six-digit number and a three-digit number using the vertical format.